Hi, welcome to an Arduino tutorial from RoboJax. In this video, we are going to see how we can use this two-channel solid-state relay to control two AC bulb or AC loads. You can get the code for this by clicking at the link which is below the video in the description, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Let's get started with this. Solid state relays have a lot of application and they have advantages and disadvantages over the magnetic relay. Advantages are that they can uh, last longer, millions of times they can connect and disconnect while the magnetic relay have limited time because of the connectivity and mechanical movement they deteriorate, the quality of them will deteriorate. And the other benefit for this one is it needs very little current and that's, um, that makes it very attractive for many applications. But disadvantage of this one is that this can always have lower current rating. For example, this is 2 ampere. This cannot handle higher currents. And in this video, we will have simple control of this. So we will send signal. This will turn on and we will turn it off. So we can turn on and off. And I will demonstrate it and also show you the code and explain it. Make sure to subscribe because I will have another video uh, controlling this using push buttons, two push buttons which you push on and push off two independently. Let me now explain the module. This module is based on Omron G3MB202P. This is one of the famous solid state relay from Omron, a Japanese manufacturer. And th they have different voltages, 5, 12, and 24 volts. And this is the 5 volts. Uh, version because it can work with Arduino and it doesn't need extra power and the rated current for the load is AC 240 volts that's the maximum and the uh, current is 2 ampere in USA and Canada with the voltage is 120 volts you multiply it by 2 it will be 240 watt so one module can handle 240 watt load We're in, uh, using this in Asia and Europe which has 220 or 240 volts just multiplied by 2 which will be around 440 or 480 watts if you overload this the device will not be able to handle it and both of these are the same rated and here we have two terminals these two terminals are for the wires as a switch that you connect and this will be for channel 1 and this is these two terminals are for this which is channel 2 and it has been labeled as well here and here to protect these two devices, we have a fusible resistor here, a 2 ampere rated. And here is a close-up image that I've taken using digital magnifier. Here is one data sheet from Vishai. This, they call it safety resistor, fusible safety resistor. And they act uh, like a fuse, but they can protect the device allowing only the rated current and in our case because this is 2 ampere it allows only 2 ampere uh, current for this uh, device and th this is the driver for this module and these components are the driver for this we also have an LED when the signal comes and this is turned on the LED will turn on and also the same way for this one and we have four terminals here at this point as you can see it has been labeled at DC plus this will be connected to 5 volts DC minus this will be connected to the ground and then we have channel 1 CH1 CH2 this is the input for channel 1 and this is the input for channel 2 channel 1 is connected to this channel 2 is connected to this module this really is offered in high trigger and low trigger the high trigger means this needs to receive higher trigger value let's say around 3 2.5 to 5 volts uh, or maybe 5 volts will turn this on and 0 volts will turn this off. But if you have low trigger, then the 0 volts will turn it on and 5 volts will turn it off. Do not worry, the code that I have written will work for high trigger and low trigger. The only thing that you have to do is in the code select or type high for your high trigger and low for the low trigger in the trigger type variable that I'm going to show you next. Length of the module is 55 millimeter. The width is 33 millimeters. The height or depth is 24.6 millimeters.
This is an AC desktop bulb and this is a power plug that I connected to the wall and 120 volts which will turn on and off. Now at this point I've cut one of these two wires at this point and twisted it and soldered it can be connected to relay. Job of relay is to connect this and the AC bulb is on or AC load whatever fan you have and disconnect it to turn it off. So I will be connecting these two to the relay. Here is a wiring diagram for the two channels of the state relay. These are two AC bulbs with a plug that you plug in and control using these solid state relays. These bulbs can be any other load as long as it fits within the capability of this solid state relay. As you can see the two wires from the first bulb have been connected in here and the two wires from the second bulb have been connected in here. From this side, the plus DC is connected using a red wire to 5 volts. The second terminal is connected using yellow wire to the ground. This is a channel 1 input. The third terminal from the left is connected using blue wire to channel 2, pin 2 of Arduino. And then the second one is connected to pin 3 of Arduino. These are the two wires that are connected to the bulb. I've just shown you on the wiring diagram and also practically how I made these two wires and if you have another bulb just connect the two wires to these two terminal here for solid state relay one channel one and that's for channel two for the wiring from this point the DC plus is connected using red wire to five volts of Arduino the second terminal is connected using yellow to the ground and here this is channel one this is connected using blue wire to pin two of Arduino and uh, channel 2 is connected using a uh, purple or pink to pin 3. Let me now explain the code. This is the code for controlling two channels of the state relay. We have defined uh, CH1 pin, that's channel 1 pin and channel 2 pin of type integer. I'm using pin 2 and pin 3, pin 2 for channel 1 and pin 3 for channel 2. These are the pins that we send signal to Arduino. And trigger type, uh, because we have high trigger and low trigger, the high, uh, because we have high trigger solid state relay, because we have high trigger solid state relay module or low trigger solid state module, we have to define it here. In my case, it is high, so I typed here high. If yours is low, just type low so the code will work and these two in, uh, integer variable are SSR on, SSR off these are used internally do not touch it you can customize this, this and this piece inside the setup we define channel pin 1 pin as an output channel 2 pin as an output so Arduino prepares them as an output and then we have to turn off the relays at the beginning for that reason we have to check if the type is high type that trigger type then we put SSR on as high and SSR off as low if the type is not high it's low trigger then on will be low and off will be high pay attention these are the opposite of each other and within the code I will be using this one to turn on and off and it will be automatically selected and then using digital write channel pin 1 we set it as off and channel pin 2 also off so these, the job of this one is to turn the relay off at the beginning if you want it differently just change this to on and uh, when the Arduino starts the relay will be on at the uh, start point at the starting point if you want the relay to be turned on at the beginning change this to on and this one to on both relay will be turned on at the start inside the loop uh, I'm just uh, doing channel 1 on this will turn on digital write channel pen SSR on this is a command that we set up this is a pen so this pen will go high and this pen will turn this pen will turn on depending on your type either high or low and this will turn off that uh, this line will turn on the really one and this line will turn on the SSR1 and this line will turn on the SSR2. This line will turn on the SSR1 and this line will turn off the SSR2 and we wait for 3 seconds. 
So both relay will have in this state for three seconds. And in this line, channel one, which was on, now I turned it off. And channel two, which was off, I turned it on. And we wait for three seconds. And there is one, sec one millisecond delay. And then the loop will continuously mm, control the relays like this. Now, if you want, <coughs> and if you have, let's say you have some temperature or something, and uh, you want to turn the relay on and off based on some action, and you can do it like F, and then you have, let's say, a temperature variable TMP is greater than 68 degrees, then you can turn on channel 1 like this. So when the temperature, this is a variable, if the temperature is greater than 68, this will turn it on. You can do it the other way as well, if the temperature is reduced or lower than 68 degrees Celsius or Fahrenheit, then you can turn on, or you can turn off changes to off, the relay will be turned off. Because we have high trigger solid state relay module or low trigger solid state module, we have to define it here. In my case, it is high, so I typed here high. If yours is low, just type low, so the code will work. And these two in, uh, integer variable are SSR on, SSR off. These are used internally. Do not touch it. You can customize this, this, and this piece. Inside the setup, we define channel pe one pen as an output, channel two pen as an output, so Arduino prepares them as an output. And then we have to turn off the relays at the beginning. For that reason, we have to check if the type is high type, the trigger type. Then we put SSR on as high and SSR off as low. If the type is not high, it's low trigger, then on will be low and off will be high. Pay attention, these are the opposite of each other. And within the code, I will be using this one to turn on and off, and it will be automatically selected. And then using digital write, channel pin 1, we set it as off, and channel pin 2 also off. So this, the job of this one is to turn the relay off at the beginning. If you want it differently, just change this to on. And uh, when the Arduino starts, the relay will be on at the uh, start point. Inside the loop, uh, I'm just uh, doing channel 1 on. This will turn on digital write channel pen SSR on. This is a command that we set up. This is a pen. So this pen will go. This line will turn on the SSR1 and this line will turn off the SSR2 and we wait for three seconds. So both relay will have in this state for three seconds and in this line channel 1 which was on now I turned it off and channel 2 which was off I turned it on and we wait for three seconds and there is one, sec one millisecond delay and then the loop will continuously control the relays like this. Let's say you have some temperature or something and uh, you want to turn the relay on and off based on some action and you can do it like F and then you have let's say a temperature variable TMP is greater than 68 degrees then you can turn on channel 1 like this. So when the temperature this is a variable if the temperature is greater than 68 this will turn it on you can do it the other way as well if the temperature is reduced or lower than 68 degrees celsius or fahrenheit then you can turn on or you can turn off changes to off the relay will be turned off here is the demonstration now solid state relay one is on which the light is connected then the the two is off. When this is on, the other one is off, and this, this light also indicates. Now this is on, I have no other light to connect here, but the principle is exactly the same. You just connect your second light in here, and it can be controlled or turned on and off. Thank you for watching. This was how to use this two-channel solid-state relay module with Arduino. If you learned something or like this video, please thumb up. Please uh, don't forget to subscribe so you can get updates of my upcoming videos.